Hi, thanks for checking out our Fencer Fixer Repair uh, YouTube channel. This is a uh, testing video showing an older um, Hold'em electric fencer model number 57. Um, there's a v handful of variations of, of these units out there. Um, most of the old 57s were orange. Some had big old bulbs. Some had um, little bulbs like this in it. Um, I think these might have been the later ones. I don't remember. Um, but anyways, they all act the same. Uh, there was another style of a, another same model, same look, except it was kind of a black or dark green case on it, like a real, real dark green gray case on it. Um, but uh, this is one that we fixed for the guy. Um, he was saying in the thing that it needed a uh, new, he could only get a couple volts out of it. Uh, I'm not sure how he was testing it because you, I don't know if you can actually use you can't use electric fence tester on these things because um, they're a different type of shock um, voltage coming out of them. Um, and you, I don't, you guess you could use a, a volt ohm meter on them. Uh, I just, I don't want to risk of messing my meter up, so I don't test these that way. I just use a short piece of wire or a um, or a screwdriver, a couple of screwdrivers across the terminals like I do on the big, the snapping type. But because uh, this is kind of a different style of, of shock and voltage that comes out of these than the solid state units or the low impedance ones. Um, but uh, we re had a didn't have a bad transformer in it not this, to say, but it had uh, some of the, the connecting points where the wires come out and go to the different things. They were a little uh, just a little. I don't know what the right word would be, tarnished or corroded or wore off or whatever. So we cleaned those up, rewired and soldered those back on. And this little four prong pulsar thing here uh, was bad as, or was not bad, bad. It was weak. Uh, I think it was, it might have been the original one to it. Um, this is what it looked like. But you can hear it. Not supposed to make that kind of sound. So that one was junk. But um, if you ever get one of these, you know, working or it's brand new, not brand new, but working again, when you first power one on, this one has a, um, any of them, they have this pulse, pulse and thing. Some of them are four prongs like this one is, and some of the earlier ones were three prongs. But either way, if you have one of these, when you first turn off, it's been sitting for a while and you first turn it on, it takes up to four minutes for it to warm itself up and start running. So if you first turn one on and it's been sitting for a little while if you, and you turn it on and it's not really working, don't assume it's bad yet. Let it warm itself up for about, I think the packaging on some of this stuff set up to four minutes to warm itself up to get going. So, but this one's got a uh, power light to tell you the power's on and a fence signal to tell you if, it, if it's hot uh, or not. If the voltage is coming or if the fence is loaded down too hard, this light will go out. But... So all the lights on, fitting signals on, but this one is not on yet because it's trying to warm up. So you got to give it a minute here to get itself warmed up, ready to go. And eventually, this light will start uh, flashing like every couple seconds or so. So there it goes. You can, and you probably won't hear it in the video, but this thing makes a little hum sound every time the light comes on. You can see. This light's kind of lighting up too, a little brighter whenever this light comes on. So to test this unit, usually this all means good, but to test the unit, the best way I know how to do it, and be kind of careful on these metal casings, because like this one, the metal is um, kind of chipped away and peeled away. I think touching it, you'll be okay, but man, just don't touch this and the hot terminal at the same time while it's on because that's going to ground across there because this is your ground side and it's bolted straight to the metal case. So actually what we could do, I'll show you a trick here, not really a trick, but a little thing here. You can just do this. Touch the hot terminal. You know, zoom it in here. So we'll get touch the hot terminal and get real darn close to the ground terminal. So 
So that's how to test it. Like this one's got a little bit of paint missing, so we should, in theory, be able to touch that metal. Back it off here. Touch this metal right here that's chipped away and get close to that hot terminal. It should do the same thing. So this one's working really, really good again. Um, one thing that this thing does do, I'm gonna, sh you won't, you know, I'm gonna short this out. And I believe this fence signal will go out if the unit gets dogged down too hard. So I'm gonna see. I've got it dead short, and that light goes out. That's to tell you, hey, you got too much load on the fence. As soon as you clean the fence up, light goes back on again. So that's just a quick little testing video of an old model Hold'em Model 57 an electric fencer. Um, so, but hey, if you ever you know have one needs to be worked on or you're having trouble with it or looking for parts for it or whatever, if if we can't help you with parts, you know, send it in to us. We'll uh, take a look at see if we can rebuild the stuff on the inside if possible. Um, or if you're looking for parts and pieces and stuff for one, uh, we probably have the parts and pieces for these um, units laying around here in our either new old stock or um, rebuilt parts. Or I might have an old junk unit we can steal the parts out of that, um, you know, we can help you out with there as well. So, but we appreciate you checking out the video. Um, go to our website, which is uh, fencerfixer.com, and fencer is spelled just like that. And fixer is F I X E R. So we're located here in the United States. Um, we give uh, you know free estimates on everything that we work on, and we uh, put 18 month warranties in on everything that we work on as well. No matter if it's 45 years old or whatever what this one is, or if it's brand new or you know the new style, we'll put a year and a half warranty on it. Um, so, but subscribe to our channel and put the thumbs up on there if you like the video as well. But we appreciate you checking it out. And until we put out another video on another repair, we'll see you later.